There's a few different drill bit sizes that you'll need. We have a hole saw here, and if we compare it to this door that already has a hole in it, it's the same size as that hole, and most of the time that hole is the same, it's like a standard size hole. So, typical deadbolt from the floor is about 40 and 3 eighths centered. Now we're gonna mark that right at 40 and 3 eighths. So you got your template right here. What you do is you fold it on the line, you bring it there, and then this is our 40 and 3 eighths, and then we bring it there, and then we take an awl and punch right there. But this has a lot of play in it. What I did is I just took a ruler, measured, two and three eighths, and put my mark right there so I know that it's right where I want it to be. Used an awl just to tap in that marking hole so our drill bit has somewhere to lead into. This bit is dull, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill my pilot hole with a little bit of a sharper bit, and once I get this straight through the door, then this has no way that it can veer off. Now let's see if I hit the line on the other side. And that looks good. It's a little bit below, but that's good enough. It's only like a difference of an eighth of an inch. Now we're gonna start drilling with the whole saw. When you're drilling, there's a lot of friction on this bit and it can heat up really quick. You wanna have water nearby where you can cool that off, because this can get really hot and you can actually re-temper the blades, which will cause them to... So we're getting close to the end of the throat of this hole saw. You might be wondering, what if your board is thicker than that? Which in this case, this is. This hole, that this um, drill bit that sticks out, I will then come in from this side, and since they're all along the same axis, they'll meet perfectly in the middle. Now we'll start drilling from the other side. Now we'll pull it out. And this is always a tricky part sometimes. Get this piece out of here, it's in there tight. Plug just comes right out. Now we'll just set this in place, and that looks nice. Now right here it says we're gonna use a one inch bit or a 25 millimeter bit to drill in and meet that hole we just drilled for the dead bolt. Now I'll mark where my center mark is gonna need to be. Now I'll go ahead and mark the center. Now we'll go ahead and drill our one inch hole. And just like all the other bits, make sure you keep this one cool. One little tip is rocking your bit back and forth or in little circles, because it gives like pressure points and you'll notice it starts cutting better that way. Keep the door supported. You can put your foot at the bottom and that seems to hold it pretty well. So this has a distance adjust. So if you drilled it at one of those two distances, you can adjust this to fit that. I think we're at the shorter distance. We put that in there. That looks. So I traced the outline of the faceplate right on there. And now here comes the hard part. Lots of chisel carving and lots of chisel work. So I made this wood mallet, uh, especially for chisels, and I'm really excited to try it out. I haven't really gotten to use it yet. So this is a great opportunity to do that. I'm first gonna start by setting the lines. So I'll have a spot to work to. I'll kind of start from the middle and get those lines carved in. Now that I've got my outline all marked out, I'm gonna start carving in, get, get that inset.
just keep working the chiseling around. You really don't want to go too deep. We're just taking light passes and I'm slowly working it down. And after working that edge, once you get to that edge, everything just chips off. All right, now this fits in there just right. It actually holds itself in there, which is nice. Everything is pretty clean. It's a little long, like you can see a 16th of an inch gap there. But that's 100% fine. The actual deadbolt in, there's, it's, there's a little bit more thickness to it. There's a plate right here, so I'll need to carve in to match that. So I carved this a little deeper, and now that fits in there nice and flush. Now we'll go ahead and mark where we're gonna put those screws. Now we're gonna use some of the hardware. These are the two wood screws. See, you got coarse teeth on the front and then it goes back to fine teeth. That's actually really cool. Now let's go ahead and put these screws in. Now everything is nice and flush. We'll put some tape on the end of it because the metal is just too shiny for any of it to stick. So now we'll... It definitely works better with the tape. You can see it's striking from here to here. So we know our center point is right there. So now we'll punch our center hole. Now I'll go ahead and drill out where the deadbolt's gonna go and the second door. So just with the hole drilled, I'm gonna test fit it. And that worked, that's actually really cool. And we'll unlock it. There it is, that's really cool. If you had a pre-drilled door where it already has everything chiseled out, it came with this where you could put it in there, but this would be so much work, a lot of chiseling to get this to fit, when really all we need to do is the chiseling for this faceplate. And then that's it. So now we'll line everything up and draw our marks. Now we're gonna chisel this out the same way we did before. Everything fits in here really nice. I got that all carved out. It's screwed in and that's in so place. Now we can go ahead and take the door, close it. And then it's that easy, it locks and then we can unlock it. And that's slick.